this. So many patients who are treated with radiotherapy for head and neck cancers end up with long-term, lifelong swallowing problems afterwards because the swallow muscles are very close to the tumor and can be damaged by radiation. Uh, we chose to um, investigate this by seeing if a form of radiotherapy where dose to the pharyngeal muscles can be reduced would improve um, swallowing function by reducing the degree of damage to the radiation muscles. So we undertook a randomized controlled trial of patients with advanced head and neck cancer, mostly oropharyngeal cancers. Um, patients were randomly assigned either to receive standard IMRT treatment or to receive the test arm of dysphagia optimized IMRT, which is called DO IMRT in, this, in the trial presentation. Um, we randomized uh, 112 patients in the trial. Uh, the primary endpoints were the MDADI, which is a um, patient reported scoring system of swallowing function. Um, and we determined that patients who had the dysphagia optimized IMRT technique had a better swallow function after treatment. And the MDADI difference was about seven and a half points. In addition to that um, primary endpoint, which was significant at a, with a p value of 0 0.03, we looked at patient reported outcomes. And we found that patients who were treated with the dysphagia optimized IMRT technique reported that nearly 40% of patients who received the dysphagia optimized IMRT recovered a swallow back to normal again after radiotherapy. And that compared to only 15% of patients who were treated with the standard IMRT. So an improvement in return to normal swallow of 25%, which is a very large difference. So this represents the first randomized trial that's looked at IMRT specifically to improve swallow function in head and neck patients. We think this trial is widely applicable to the majority of patients who have throat cancers um, who are treated with radiotherapy. And we think that this will be a long-term benefit for patients and will lead to years equivalent of improved swallowing for patients after treatment. So I think that the technical aspects of delivering this complex form of IMRT are quite a challenge. Um, the muscles of swallowing are not something which are routinely imaged and included in radiotherapy treatment planning. So there is a step change required for both the radiation oncologists who have to learn the anatomical position of these muscles, how to, to identify where they are on a CT scan um, and use those as an avoidance structure for radiotherapy. The medical physicists also will need to take longer to identify the radiation dose to these muscles and try quite, really quite hard to reduce the dose um, to those areas because they're very close to the tumor. Um, one of the things we did look at in the study in, in any radiation trial where you're reducing the volume of area receiving high dose, there's always a concern that one might end up underdosing parts of the tumor and that might lead to tumor recurrences. And we didn't demonstrate that in the trial. The numbers of patients who did recur were very little altogether. <clears throat> and between the two arms of the randomization within the trial, they were very comparable. So it's more work for the clinician, it's more work for the radiation uh, physicists, um, but we think this translates to years, maybe decades, of improved swallow for each patient treated. Mm -hmm.